Hello, welcome to the greenhouses at North Carolina State University in Raleigh, North Carolina. My name is Amanda McWhart, and I'm a researcher in the College of Agriculture and Life Sciences. I work on sustainable production of strawberries in the southeastern United States. Today, I'm going to talk about the advantages of using beneficial inoculants and how they can be incorporated into strawberry tip establishment. This video is intended for anyone who grows their own strawberry tips, but the method could be applied to other types of plant establishment as well. Beneficial soil inoculants are soil amendments that inoculate or introduce a healthy community of beneficial microorganisms into the soil. These microorganisms can improve plant growth, soil properties, and can also help to balance bad soil microorganisms in a field. Having a healthy community of beneficial microorganisms in the soil is akin to a person having good bacteria in their stomach to help them stay healthy. A balanced microbial community is often lacking in strawberry fields with histories of annual fumigation. The use of beneficial inoculants can thus help reintroduce beneficial microbes that are killed by fumigation practices. The two inoculants that I will be discussing today are vermicompost and our buscular mycorrhizal fungi. Both of these inoculants can be introduced into the field via the strawberry plug. Our research at NC State has shown that field-grown strawberry plants amended with vermicompost had increased plant growth and yields. For field-grown strawberry plants inoculated with our buscuro-mycorrhizal fungi, we have found increases in plant growth. And other studies done at NC State with these inoculants on different crops, it has been found that plants grown in vermicompost amended soil showed increased resistance to some insect pests and increased pollinator attraction. Additional research studies have shown both of these types of inoculants led to increased plant growth, decreases in pest occurrence, and increased fruit yields in some cases. We are continuing to investigate the specific interaction of these two soil inoculants for strawberry production in the field. However, today we will demonstrate our technique for introducing these inoculants into strawberry tip production. Vermicompost is compost made by earthworms. The material is produced when organic materials are fed to earthworms and the earthworm castings are collected. Our buscular mycorrhizal fungi are fungi that form beneficial relationships with plants and help the plants obtain nutrients. We often refer to them as AMF or just generally mycorrhizae. Often we do not think of soil fungi as being beneficial, but this specific type of fungus can be important for increasing plant growth, drought tolerance, and disease resistance. This happens because mycorrhizae have hyphae that act like a net that extends beyond the roots into the soil and increases the area over which the plant is able to absorb nutrients. Here we have two strawberry plants that were started from tips. One tip was planted in a pot with regular potting soil. The other was planted with 20% of the potting soil being replaced with vermicompost and AMF inoculum. Notice the differences in leaf tissue growth and root growth. Using beneficial inoculants is simple and can be easily implemented. In addition, vermicompost and mycorrhizal inoculants can be used individually or in combination. However, using good quality materials and the right amounts of these inoculants is important to ensure good plant growth and to manage the economics of this technique. Ideally, around 20% by volume of the media mix should be made up of vermicompost. Thus, depending on the size and number of flats you will be filling, you should replace 20% of the media with vermicompost. Be sure to mix the vermicompost and soil media well and fill the trays normally. Vermicompost can be obtained from several sources around the country. However, it is important to have the material tested prior to use or to request an analysis from the producer, as some materials may be too high in salts and may burn your plants. Generally, food waste-based vermicomposts do not have this problem, while some manure-based composts do. AMF inoculum can be bought from many sources online. When choosing a source, be sure to choose a reputable company or organization and follow the directions provided for inoculation, as it is important to obtain live mycelium. The cost of implementing this technique will depend on the cost of your regular media and the cost of the specific inoculants that are available to you. Remember that by incorporating these inoculants, you will require a smaller quantity of your regular media. Also, vermicompost supplies some nutrients, which may reduce the amount of fertilizer required for tip establishment. I encourage you to try the technique of incorporating beneficial inoculants in your strawberry production. Thanks for watching.